if you are going to have victory over any issue of concern in your life, please keep hope alive. Like pastor, we always say, if you are helpless, don't be hopeless. Help. You don't have control over it. It is man that will help you or God that will help you. You can't force a man to help you. Not so. The best you can do, you will send WhatsApp. Reminder. Sir, don't forget me. You put a call through. You go and visit the person. Please, sir, don't forget. Please, sir, help me. It is their choice to either help you or not. And if they refuse to help you, there's nothing you can do about it. But hope is dependent on you. You control your hope. It is your choice to have hope or to be hopeless. Ensure that if you are helpless, God forbid, you are not hopeless. Because only two things can keep a man standing. Is either he receive help or he receive hope. Please don't lose hope. Don't give up on hope. We'll see in the story of Hannah in verse 7. He says, so it was year by year, year by year, she kept going. She never gave up. She kept going. She never gave up. Every year she went. She did not say, ah, Shebi, we went last year. What came out of it? That is a hopeless statement. Shebi, I gave last year. Shebi, they say we should give. I've given to the poor. I've given to the man of God. I've given to the orphanage. I've given to the... I've given to the... What has come out of it? When such statements come, just know that hope... It's gone. Please, hope is within your control. Have hope. Have hope in God. No matter what happens, have hope. Year after year, she persisted. She did not change church. She did not go from one mountain to another mountain. She kept on it, kept at it, having hope, having hope, having hope. 